Hello everybody, welcome back to Wuppo. Um, last episode we messed around with this place a lot. We're gonna continue on that. Um, I haven't really looked ahead myself because the moment I stopped the recording I thought, hmm, that's something I haven't tried yet. The thing I haven't tried yet is now that we actually have a normal path down to the bottom, namely through where we found the first few light switches, um, we haven't tried setting the whole place down again. So... That is what I'm going to try to do next. Flip all the switches again. And see if anything changes. Hopefully for the better. If everything is in a bottom position. Because these things still work. made me kind of curious as to why. You think once everything is in the perfect position, they would just say, you know what, you're done. Congratulations. Um, and they didn't. So now I have to go find all the switches again. I don't think there were too many of those. So to find my way back to that one. I'm not gonna save just in case. Yeah, this thing seems to be coming down, which is what we needed to. Um, let's put. Let's see. We need. this one to be up. So we can pretty easily flip this one. To go back up. Then we can go with this one. Should allow us to just simply fall down. Put the blank thing back up or whatever it was called. Say what you want, but the puzzles are uh, not the easiest thing. I did it again. Oh my god. Alright, put this thing on. Grab the grabber. Put it down. Go up. What happens if I go down now? Is there even a down? No. Okay. Um, can I even leave now? I cannot. <sighs> Bothers. I'm assuming if I switch, yeah. Would be too easy, wouldn't it? Okay. Can I just... Mm, putting a rock on it probably isn't going to cut it. I'm going to try it anyway because I can probably leave the rock on it and it, if it does work. Yeah, that can stay there. If I don't accidentally pick it up again. Okay, you need to go back up then. And I need to find another way to come and flip you. The only way to do that is if I come down through th there. So you're gonna have to go look on this side again. Oh, wait, 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 I can flip you. 
Okay, let's put you down again. You're down now, right? Yeah. Can I leave through the right side now? No. So you need... Uh, oh, you're driving my patience game. What if we put you down? And you go down as well. What happens next if I try to go this way? You get stuck. Of course you would. Why wouldn't you get stuck? And I get stuck here as well. Uh, let's flip this one. Now I can leave this place, but can I go... B I don't care about the damage. See, that one switch down there had an icon on it. Where do I end up if I go this way? There. I don't need to be there. I need to be one lower. Let's just go check the thing again because that switch had an icon on it that resembled the icon of the stuff we still need to pull. I'm not going to save because it's going to mess things up again. Nothing here is lit up now. Oh, you're gonna start talking again. Stop! Just check, see if I'm even remotely on the right track. Oh, the puzzle's are standing on food. Woo. I know. Shut the hell up. Okay, so we need to find the way to go pull that one switch that I missed. I know where it's at, I'm just wondering how to get to it. We've got a switch here. I still need to pull this one too. I guess I might as well do that while I'm here. I'm kind of curious if these things actually can die or if it's just like, a, eh, well, you know, they take damage, but you know, they don't actually take damage. This is not where I aspire to be, I would reckon. But if I can lower it one more, I might be. But I don't think I can. And then you die and all your progress is lost. How cool is that? Tell you what, I'll get back to you once I figure it out. So here's your reward for um, flipping all the switches down. You just can't get in anymore. <sighs> well, back to the drawing board. Back when I find something, I guess. All right, so a uh, bit of a revelation. Turns out I was a bit of an idiot. The food, uh, them talking about food actually means um, you can put food on them. As you can tell from right here. Not sure if it'll do much for us, but. At least it's a bit of progress. Yeah, let's chuck those up there again. 
just put them. How do I need to trigger him saying food thing first? Match do it once before I reload it. It's weird that you're allowed to put stuff up there though. Other times it doesn't allow you to do that. Okay, now we should talk about the food stuff that's on here, right? Okay, can I throw the stuff on now? not do what I want you to do. What? I did it before and I was saying no. What? Yeah, just throw the bloody f oh, for crying out loud. Can I still throw other stuff on there or are you just saying no to the berries or something? No, you won't even throw the matches on now either. Which means I'm hitting a wrong button. Presumably. <sighs> I just apparently broke something because I... I'm hitting the wrong button. Mm, alright, alright. All right. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pick that up. Clearly, I didn't want to keep it on there. That would be ridiculous. If you don't mind. There we go. Ooh. Fancy lights. I feel like I'm gonna eat my gun. Well, something's definitely improving. Ooh. Greetings. It has been a very long time since I've been formally invited into this world. Thank you for your sacrificial objects. Especially like the edible objects you brought to me this time. In return for your noggard, I shall bring a few nice to the ones you've lost. But... Hello. I have to return to Cranktorium and continue building a world of for my f nice full inhabitants. And thank you for your contribution. May our worlds connect in peace one day. Farewell. That was terrifying. A huge mud stream devoured our entire city. Who may you be? You look different. I am a wom. You are not bleak like us. Do you know if city is still intact? Yeah, partially. Structures probably built by bleak and bleak image. Imagine they are indestructible. You people live there now. No, nah, the flankers do. Bleak does not know a Fnacker must be future people too. Does anyone else live in the city? Uh, giant face. The Bankrupt. Of course, Bleak can ask him what to do. Bankrupt always says he knows what is best for Bleak. And Bleak, remember we are all feeding the Bankrupt mud. Bankrupt has something to do with the mud stream. 
tremendously, but the Blankman always wanted more. I must have gotten too much at some point. And basically puked it out. Okay, cool. Blankrant wiped out our entire civilization. Blankrant feeding it mud too. Blink's road if it is going to happen again. Now Blink can know that Blankrant is still alive. We must prevent feeding Blankrant at all costs, or else the world will be crushed by massive mudstream again. Blink has talked to Blankrant. Maybe we can sort things out in a private conversation. Let's fill with knackers. They can be very aggressive. That is not good. Bleak wants a conversation with just the three of us in blank rent. We must look for somewhere else. Does one have an idea how to do that? With food? Gets bleak is something that might help you. Bleak is melody to activate things. This instrument can produce five different notes with the right combination. One can activate bleak technology. One can change tone. Tone using the left control stick. Note combinations are usually displayed on the devices. One should be able to open doors in this room. Ah, oh, great. So I'm gonna have to bind our rock arena now. It's not a green, it's probably a music box or something, but... There it is. Let's bind that to... See how the symbols match up. Nothing. The one on the right. I need to like top and bottom or something. How does this work? So those are the guys that we just saw in this place, then wasn't it? Um, yeah, here. Alright, let's see if we can find some of that. Everything's gone here, that's good. Let's hope we can keep it that way. More notes on here. I think we may be able to do the top thing. The question is, how do I? Activate it without getting pummeled to death. That's the big question, isn't it? For the time being, let's get our little buddy up again. Or this thing, it doesn't matter actually. Let's see, are there any noteworthy notes that we can see here? Not really, no. Uh, just to get these guys out. Let's check the arena. They said I was there 
before uh, the Fnackers here got there, so it might be something to do with that. safe here, yeah, although I think once I get up there I should be. Probably kill them all and make this a whole lot easier on me. But ow, ow! Should probably move, but you know. Pretty sure he's gonna get bored of his job pretty quick. How do I go higher up from here? That's real issue in it. Maybe I just don't. Hey. There we go. I'm a smart little pan. Or I can be if I want to. Uh, where's my hook thing? That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. A bit of useless machinery, eh? Well, we're on top of this place now, so this might be a good place to end things. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in the series. Feel free to subscribe, comment, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.